Welcome back, everybody. Let's fly RC. Welcome back, everybody. Let's fly RC. After Flight Fest, I... What are you doing? I was gonna... I appreciate that, but no. I just thought, because you always get to do it. Nope. This is my thing, and oh, I'm just you're gonna, gonna do it. Yeah. You just okay. sit there, I'll just and sit I'll get you in a minute. Wait till you're done. Welcome back, everybody. Let's fly RC. After Flight Fest, I got the urge to build, and you're really distracting, and I can't... Welcome back, everybody. Let's fly RC. That guy is so full of himself. Anyway, after Flight Fest, I got the urge to build and fly more flight test planes. So I went out and I built the FT Sparrow, and I put a ridiculous power setup on it. I'll tell you about that later, but for now, let's go watch the build video. Through my UBAD sponsorship, occasionally I get the opportunity to build and test some new equipment. I got some new ESCs. I have already tested them on a quad, and my battery's dying. Be right back. So anyway, I got the opportunity to test out these ESCs uh, on a quad already, and we're getting ready to build a new airplane. I've already built it once, I kind of destroyed it. This is uh, the FT Sparrow by Flight Test, but it's good because I already have all the parts and everything so that building it this time will be a lot faster. Let's get to it. First start out by laser cutting the plane. It's all finished, so let's go ahead and get started with the build. Um, probably not going to talk through this part, but I'll speed it up and let you guys watch the build real quick before we go fly it. Sparrow's done being built. All that's left now is electronics. So we'll get those in there and we'll get ready for the Maiden. I purposely chose this plane because it had balance issues originally and the battery up front that they chose for it wasn't heavy enough and I had to add weight to it. I figured what better plane to stick a heavier 6S battery in. So we're going to try to see how fast this thing can fly at 6S with some crazy new ESCs. So let's try it. See what happens. All right, so we're out at the soccer field now with the 6S FT Sparrow. I have all the electronics installed. Uh, I got it all checked out and uh, balanced out. What's crazy is that this plane, even with such a heavy battery, still needed extra weight in the nose to balance properly. So I went ahead and put some fishing weights in the front there. Um, it's got a 2205, 2600 kV red bottom motor. We're running a new prototype ESC. This is a new ESC by Flycolor. It's 50 amps and it's the size of an old Angry Beast and it can do D-Shot 1200 and 6S. So we're gonna put it to the test. Now the last time I did a setup like this, it pulled more than 50 amps, probably closer to 60 or 80. So if this does go up in smoke, I'm actually pulling more than what it's rated at. But if it doesn't go up in smoke, then this CSC is gold for this type of stuff. So let's put on the helmet cam and get it up in the air. Well, it's definitely got a lot of power.
Alright, I think the battery's dead. It's time to bring this thing down. Very nice. Alright, that went really well, man. I'm surprised. Nothing damaged. Everything's going great. I, everything went well. I mean, that success, it took success like a champion. And the only thing I had issues with was the trim. I couldn't possibly, I couldn't trim the trim down enough uh, to get this thing to not climb when it was taken off, but it was just because I ran out of trim. So I have to go into the sub trims, adjust a couple things. Once I get that all straightened out, this thing's going to fly awesome. The ESC and the motor both came down cold. You guys check out these ESCs if you need some real power. These things are solid. I only brought one battery with me, so I have to call it a day for now. So we'll see you guys next time.